Hello YouTube! This is SlyJay and welcome to my new Minecraft adventure. And you are invited! So, check this out. I downloaded the new snapshot. I think it's W22B1322... The one with the horses! I don't know all the numbers. I downloaded it. And look! Right out of the spawn! A horse and a colt! So let's jump on, of course, and get bucked off, of course, <laughs> and jump on again, of course, of course, and get bucked off, sure. I don't know what I'm doing. I think this is the right thing that I should be doing, though, because I think if I don't tame it, it might go away. Actually, her. I think I can call her her, because she had a baby. Okay, one more time. Come on. Come on. You can do it, girl. And I'm going to call her Lucky Hearts. Yes, excellent. So this is why this is so lucky. Is Well, first of all, I believe, if I'm not wrong and misinformed. Sorry, Lucky, excuse me. I got to go punch a tree right now. This is going to seem a little bit weird, but just, just bear with me. I got to do this, okay? Anyway, so uh, I don't want to waste a whole lot of time. I got to get started. You know how it is your first night in Minecraft. Horses notwithstanding. So here's why this is so lucky, is first of all, unless I'm misinformed, I believe that horses are quite rare, so to get them right after the, you know, right near the spawn is, is great. And, but more so was that I wasn't really planning on doing a, a let's play. I kind of had it in my head, like sort of like my inner wish list. If I did everything on my inner wish list in my head, I would spend like all day every day making videos of all kinds of things, you know. And, uh, you know, so I kind of, I don't have time for everything. But, so it was kind of on my mind. But what I really was actually going to do was another super hostile map. The, the one at this point in my YouTube channel is, at this point, I really only have one series, and that is uh, Infernal Sky Super Hostile Map by Vex, and I am just finishing the map right now, and the series, um, and uh, so I was thinking of what to do next, and it was going to be another Super Hostile, and uh, then this and that, and the other thing, and whatever, anyway, I thought I would just try out the snapshot, and Sure enough, just completely random seed, I got, not this, but actually another seed that I loved. It was a, you spawn right in a extreme hills biome with just gorgeous scenery and waterfalls. And to me, what's really important, like more important than spawning near a village or easy diamonds or whatever, you know, you can always go find those things later. But I like to have my main base have a nice view. I mean, one of the things I appreciate about Minecraft is the, the scenery. So uh, I loved that seed and I was going to maybe play on it. But then I switched computers and this and that and the other thing. And anyway, so I ended up just trying out another seed, just completely random. And here we are with one horse at least already. I think I would have tried to ride the other one. I, I don't know. When I... Okay, I did take a peek at this seed. All I did was really just walk around and decide that I want to put my house over there on that little hillock, I guess let's call it. It's not really a hill, but it's a little bit higher than this other land. See, I never would have picked a seed like this to play on. I would have held out for another hills biome, but... You know, with the horses, that just changes everything. <laughs> okay, uh, bear with me. I'm going to get some sandstone and make a house. So, yeah. Okay, so all I had done so far on this map was look around, decide that this should be the place for my house, and see that there were two horses, which, by the way, were both full-grown and they were white. And then I logged off, and I logged back on, and, and the rest you've seen. Uh, I don't know if anyone thinks that's interesting or if that's, you know, useful information, but, you know, everything else is, I, I think, the same, except for the horses are, I don't know, I guess their, their colors come out random and their age and, and all that. I don't know if anyone really cares, but I think that some people do, because I think we are all, we being Minecraft players, we are all just 
learning about horses right now and you know kind of got to share information i'm gonna have to go look up like what you're supposed to feed them and all that not because i haven't looked but because i've been receiving conflicting information sugar wheat hay apples carrots grass i don't know so i'm gonna have to look that up but in the meantime at least okay let's i'm doing this because you know i want to make a bed i want to just get established so we can get on to the fun stuff quickly i'm such a soft heart and animal lover that i just i don't even like killing the animals no actually that's not why it is that somewhere when i first started minecraft i had been told or read that you shouldn't kill too many animals or they will go extinct which i personally think is a great feature because I think people should just learn that about the world because I'm a soft heart and an animal lover. And uh, so I think that's a good feature to, to make that part realistic. And I probably take it too seriously, but anyway, I like to conserve my animal populations at least until I can get some fenced in and breeding. And then, then everything changes. And I also got to say, I, I like them running around. I think it makes the map fun okay i'm sure this isn't really so much fun to, to watch this is what i was mentioning earlier i'm i'm gonna just get some sand and make a little sandstone house so let me fast forward this wouldn't that be cool if you could actually do that that fast in minecraft like go into hyperspeed mode for your digging actually i bet you can there's probably some kind of mod for that or something like that okay so you guys, do you want to go into hyperspeed mode for farming? Probably should, huh? I mean, how many Minecraft LPs have farming? All right, let's go. Hyperspeed super farmer, let's go. Okay, I guess I didn't really have as many seeds as I had thought. But uh, well, at least we're kind of getting a start. I'm not bothering with fences or infinite water supplies or whatever because i mean i got all this right here and i guess i'm really kind of just concerned with keeping this horse so i would like to well i gotta eat okay so saw the chickens over here so yeah we gotta do that and we need the bed and we need more wood i think i'm gonna be making some fences of course a house and then I guess maybe a lead and I can tie Lucky to a fence. Okay, as much as a soft heart and silly as I am, I've never named an animal in Minecraft. And even I, weird as I am, feel a little bit weird about doing that. Referring, Well, we'll see. They've got those name tags now, so I guess maybe that's what people do. The sun is setting and I haven't even started my house. Okay, we're going to have to go into hyperspeed house building mode. Yeah. Did you know there are people that do this in real life? They actually have contests of building houses. You know, they, they have teams. They have plans. The finished houses are not really much more than like a real life version of what I'm making right now. It's just basically like one room and... You know, to scale, it would be like maybe 10 by 12, I think, and probably 8 feet tall and simple roof door windows, and that's it, a frame. And, uh, yeah, they have these little contests, and I don't know, maybe it's like five guys, and they do the house in about a day. I'm not sure what that means. It's not a Minecraft day, uh, but I don't think it's like, you know, sunrise to sundown. I, I think it's probably... It's less than eight hours, I think it takes them. At least when I watched, and this was years ago, so... Anyway. Okay, but I'm beating them all now, because this is, in video time, I don't know, less than a minute. Would be nice if I had torches. So, hey, here I am. There's my house. And let's just brighten it up with a furnace. And that's my little thing I like to put the crafting table and furnace in the floor. Don't use up the room for them. Okay. 
So all that house building has made me tired, and I just happen to have a bed. So good night. Ah, wow, feels like I was only sleeping for like 30 seconds, and yet I feel so refreshed. Quickly fast-forwarding inventory management, and then we will go out and explore this fresh new world on this fresh new fine day. Nice. So, there's really only one direction to go. It seems interesting. So, let's head out toward the jungle. My objectives are, you know, the same as any Minecraft player. I want to get coal. I want to get more food. Get more wood. Because I'm going to be making fences to be keeping all my horses in. And other animals I hopefully will be soon getting. And maybe I will find a ravine or something. I'd, I'd like to start getting some armor going. Finding iron would be very nice. So, yeah, it's not really like I have some ingenious, unique plan. Even still, you never know exactly what's going to happen or what how it's going to go down. You know, even two players with the exact same goal won't go about it exactly the same way. And, of course, no two worlds are exactly alike. And that's just what is so cool about Minecraft. And, in fact, that's kind of actually why... Whoa, did I see an ocelot? Yes, I did. Oh, definitely. As soon as I can, I want to get a kitty cat. So that's one of the reasons that I'm here instead of on Inferno Mines right now, this very moment, is that with all respect to Vex, of course, of course, and I had just a tremendously good time on the one map that I played. It was an older map, though, and with Inferno Mines, it's, it's like enormously huge, <laughs> and it's also like he's done players the favor of taking away a lot of the like grunt work you know and so maybe that's good but in oh this is just what i'm looking for get some coal get some iron i hope so okay now if i'm gonna mine i'm going to cut that out i guarantee it me digging coal out of a wall looks exactly the same as somebody else digging coal out of a wall. So, yes, just as I was saying, putting the things that are different, well, okay, here we go. So, yeah, so anyway, in, in Inferno Mines, oh, Rafine? Refer Inferno Mines is, is ginormous, and some of the, like, survival tasks have been done for you which I guess is a good thing but perhaps maybe makes everybody sort of kind of funnels everyone into handling the map having to handle the map in the more similar way I mean I was doing wacky stuff on Infernal Sky super hostile map like building extra houses and minecart tracks and even sculptures in the sky and leaving signs with silly things on them. Okay, yeah, all I did down there was dig. <laughs> so we're going to head on back. We got some coal and things like that, and that is good. And I need to get more food. So, yeah, I'm going to start heading back. Ooh, boom, right there. So, yeah, I just, I love about Minecraft how it's different for everybody. And, you know, that's where I'm hoping there's, you know, room on me for YouTube also. Because everybody is different. I mean, how many Let's Plays are there? Like a bajillion, gazillion, zillion. But they are all different. Did I just say, I hope there's room on me for YouTube? I meant, I hope there's room on YouTube for me. <laughs> okay. Somebody needs more sleep, I think, in real life and in Minecraft, so let's start heading back. Okay, we're sneaking through the jungle, and it's gotten dark. Why are we whispering? Because 
We want to hear if there's any mobs. And why did it get dark? Because we took a longer route on the way back. I think we got lost. That's the other reason we're whispering. Hey! The whispering has paid off. I hear a pig. Oh, and the ocelots. I'm going to get a cat for sure. I mean, not right now, but soon. But where's the pig? Because I'm hungry. Where are they? Where are they? I'm being the quiet hunter. Oh, stuck under the leaves. Sorry, dude. Well, I guess my thing about killing the wild animals, I don't feel quite as bad if they're like totally trapped in leaves because they wouldn't have been having some like really cool wild life of freedom anyway. They were just trapped in the leaves. That'd be worse than being locked in a pen. Look at this guy. He like is the leaves. No, multiple. Oh, they look so cute, but. And the skeleton I've been hearing. You. Oh, no, creeper. Oh, no. No, no, don't kill everybody. Okay, I told him not to kill everybody, and he didn't even kill the skeleton. Ugh. I guess I'm lucky. Because... Because he didn't kill the pigs. And because I have no armor. And... You know, you can go quick and easy with the, with the creeper around and you got no armor. Oh, and I'm lucky once again this pig got away and then came back so I could kill him and get three, three pieces of pork. So, you know what I'm going to do real quick in this convenient little place that the creeper has made? I'm just going to kind of chill for a minute and make up some of this pork and eat and regenerate hearts. I have this thing. I like to have all my hearts. Just call me crazy. I just like to have all my hearts, okay? Okay. We've made our little bivouac. And we're hiding here, cooking up food. And keeping an eye out for mobs. Why are we whispering again? Not sure. But you know what? This is boring. Let's go. You know, actually, I, I hadn't really gotten lost on the way back. I just kind of probably, like, went around a little bit, you know, made the route a little bit longer than necessary. But this little area here is pretty easy to not get lost, just kind of the way it has that narrow strip of land with the jungle on it and then the border of the biomes. So we're pretty good. We're, we're set up pretty nicely now. And I'm happy on this seed. And we're going to have some good times. And no, you can't come in, you big silly. You're too fat. You can't get through a one block, stupid spider. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm going to say thank you for watching and good night. No, silly. You are not a horse. No. No, you are not. No, you are not a horse. No. Oh, you drive me to it.